brother. I have the Holy Spirit. You got the Holy Spirit. I ain't ever going to come and tell, swing my finger at you, brother. I'm going to say, hey, let's look at this together, and maybe you can help me see something I didn't see before. You know what I mean? How are you, Kirk? I'm Greg. Is it, is it Kirk? Did I read it right? Kirk, yeah. Awesome. And is it Aiden? Aiden. Awesome. Did you have any questions? Thoughts? You got to spit, warn me. I just... I, uh... I'm a street preacher, so okay. I ain't gonna spit. <laughs> Where are you from? Canada. Oh, wow. Awesome. You think Texas is a culture of Huh? You think Texas is a culture of Oh, I know. I'm from California. I grew up in, in fact, our, our hometown is what's burning down right now, Santa Rosa. Our, our prime minister, before he was elected, said, almost word for word, if you're going to be in my party, choice. Oh man. Or you won't be in my party. Wow. Like before the election. <laughs> and his party went from getting ten seats in the out of three hundred and one in the previous election to getting like hundred and eighty seats. Wow. And yeah. I said Yeah. I thought for some reason that MPs were members of parliament were supposed to represent their constituents, but oh. like, well, yeah, I, we thought that too, you know. Shows you what I know. Yeah, no, nah, that's not how it works. I, I you can't control people when you represent them. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. What part? What part of Canada? Uh, it's a place called Nova Scotia. Okay. Have you ever been there? No, the only place I've ever been in Canada was Victoria, right above, coming back from Alaska on a cruise ship. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was it. West Coast, yeah. Yeah. That's the only province I've ever been to yet. Really? Wow, that's a that's a lot of land up there. A lot of yeah, that's a lot of square feet. Yeah, you know, that's in fact that's that's one of the things I I, I really like with the whole Facebook thing and like I, I have 1,500 friends on Facebook all over the country, all over the world. We got some people in uh, New Zealand, Australia, Britain, Canada. Uh, la well, that's still America, but yeah, but um, but yeah, man, that's like we had a we had a brother from Canada who met some of us at Shepherd's Conference in LA, and then he started kind of following some of our, our stuff on Facebook, and then I ended up calling him and just chatting with him, you know? Uh, Devin Davis, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Because I have a friend out in Alberta who's quite awkward. Really? Yeah. So my, my, I'm so excited. I mean, I've been able to meet so many people just in America through doing this all over the country. Man, I I'm, I'm can't wait to talk to more Canadian brothers more especially Chinese brothers we got a we got a brother from Michigan that goes to China regularly and does stuff over there but yeah man yeah. I got it we got a we got a, a guy that a lot of us follow and, and friend uh, who's in India he was uh, he's in the Air Force and he got like honestly discharged or something like that so he like gets 800 bucks a month for like the rest of his life so he's like well i could like live off of that in india and that's like one of the least reached places in the world so he's been living out there he's got a wife from out there a few kids and he he always gets beat up and threatened and in prison oh my gosh this guy's crazy so i really want to go out with him i want to figure out a way to get out there with him and that brother and spend a few months out there and learn hard knocks right there <laughs> <laughs> Front lines right there, man. But yeah, it's. Uh, I'm done with the sex, man. I'm done with all the the, the division, man. We're all. You got your st death, death culture. Everybody's got their death culture. China's got their death culture. A lot of death cultures to be confronted. There's no. There's no abortion clinics in Nova Scotia where I live, uh -huh. or New Brunswick. Well, actually, I shouldn't say. I know there's, there used to be one in New Brunswick that recently closed, if you can believe it. Wow. There's a very, very, very evil man that you've probably heard of by the name of Dr. Henry Morgenthaler. He's dead now, but he basically almost single-handedly opened up all these abortion clinics in Canada. I might have heard something about he's that, dead. yeah. He's been dead for about seven or eight years. Oh, wow. He, they gave him the Order of Canada. It was <gasps> like the highest order. It would be wow. like a purple order yeah. Veteran. Medal of Honor or something like that, yeah. They gave him the, they gave him the, the Order of Canada. Yeah, and Britain, Britain and Canada, man, they've been working on it a long time, man. So, <laughs> anyway, so I, I felt signs similar to that outside of hospitals, not abortion clinics. Okay, because yeah. Because that's where they kill the babies at the hospital. Wow. Yeah, we, you know, we, we I was telling this brother, Corey, over here, like, he, him and his wife, they go out to the clinics and stuff, and a lot of us start out that way, but, like, 
we have we have people that go out to IVF clinics now. We we had people that were gonna start going to like WalMarts and CVSs because they got the Plan B pill there. Um, you know that's why we started going to colleges and high schools, and that's why we came to churches, man. We were at the clinics and we seen these high college high schoolers and people with their crosses and their church stickers on their car, pastors' kids and all this other stuff. We're like, we're in the wrong spot, man. We gotta go. We gotta go back a couple steps and catch them before they're already walking through the door, cash in hand. You know. So I, I think we've we've found ten times more places to go hold signs just by going to the you know I mean there's it's yeah we go to concerts I mean we yeah but that's why that's why when I first saw you guys I thought surely they don't think that there's pro-choice people at this event like you guys don't think there's people in this building in this conference who are for abortion obviously. I would say at this conference, no, because I know like this kind of setting, you're, you're going to have a little bit more of the serious minded people. But we know that on average in the average church building that there is people who are going to leave that church that Sunday and Monday morning. They've already got something scheduled right. or they took the pill the night before and their child is dying while they sit in the pew. Yeah. So unfortunately, when we first started doing the Church Repent Project, when like these flyers uh, these quad folds were made. We had actually, and the original intent was to separate out pro-choice churches versus pro-life churches, because like the Methodist church like is actually like funds abortion from the plate, right? But like we went to Life Church, which is a really big church out here in the South, right? Um, and we thought, we thought like what you think, like surely, I mean, these guys are pro-life, you know, I mean, young and hip and all this stuff, right? They're gonna you know they're definitely going to want to help right and they're definitely like we found out like they were almost just as bad as the pro-choice church like they were like well we don't talk about it we have people that have had it we don't want to offend people we can't do we got more f-bombs and flip off or as many at least you know from that church so and unfortunately just from doing it over the years and like you know a lot of times people say like, why didn't you come talk to the pastor because every time we call the pastor and we either get nothing back or we get a no thanks or and it's like we're not here to like talk to your pastor we're here to talk to you because we're brothers you know and uh, like I said we we need we need help we need help repenting we need help being motivated we need to be exhorted you know um, yeah so so no, this is definitely coming to the strong man's house and asking for help more than anything. Yes, but uh, but hey, there's a lot of people that aren't that are running by, you know. So yeah, that's a good point. they're gonna see it. Hey, good, good to talk to you. Yeah, to you too, Kirk. Glad you're here, brother. Yeah. We'll keep we'll, we'll keep praying for our our cultures of death. <laughs> only the gospel, only the only the spirit, man. Yeah. I don't know how, but good thing he does. Yeah.